the new 2012 24-inch iMac will be available for pre-order on the 30th of April. But which is the best pick of the three main choices? I'll show you the options so you can make your choice based on your needs. But I've balanced the cost benefits and will tell you which model I'd recommend as you process through this review. I'll answer the question in two categories. One, for the general use user, that's day-to-day -day use, emails and web browsing. And two, for those pushing the limits, that's video editing and Photoshop use. You can choose between three main models. The entry model at US $12.99, plus two others, US $14.99, and US $16.99. Of course, you can add specs to these with the build to order options, but the first thing to note is that the features of the entry model are limited compared to the other two models. These are the specification differences. Are they important to you? To start with, let's look at the CPU and the GPU. All three have the same CPU at eight cores, so no differences there. But the entry model has a seven core GPU. The other two have eight cores. Will this make a difference to you? If you're expecting to put heavy demands on the new iMac, then this will be important to you, as it'll give you about a 10% increase in performance at peak levels. It'll make no difference to you for general use, but if you're pushing the limits, go for the 8-core GPU. Next, let's look at the Wi-Fi or wired internet connections. Power users will always prefer a wired connection to the internet. And you may be surprised to know that the entry model does not come with an Ethernet port on the power brick. So it's an easy choice here. If you want a wired internet connection for top internet speeds and low latency, you should disregard the entry model. Now to storage options. These are the choices that you'll have with each model. I'll leave this to you for your personal pick, but I will keep it in mind for the overall recommendation. Next, colours. It's not immediately noticeable that the entry model has a limited choice of colours. So if you want orange, purple or yellow, you know which models to pick. Now ports. The entry model has two Thunderbolt ports, and the other two models add two USB 3 ports. My take on this is that none of the models will suffice if you need to attach a number of devices or extra monitors, so you'll need a Thunderbolt hub no matter which model you pick. If you're a general user, then the two-port entry model will suffice. The final decision is Touch ID. The keyboard that's standard with the entry model doesn't have Touch ID. I think this is a must-have feature, especially if you're purchasing items over the internet. So if you're a general user, you can upgrade to a Touch ID keyboard for US $50. Now, which model do I suggest? Well, for the general user, I'd go for the $14.99 middle model. It comes with Touch ID. So the actual difference is really only $150 since in my mind you do need to add Touch ID to the entry model. Plus considering you get more colour choices, four ports for connection choices, gigabit Ethernet, and some faster graphics processing. The middle model is my choice. But if $200 is important, then go for the entry model. It's going to be a great computer. If you're a power user, then you're most likely going to be selecting build to order anyway. The new iMac's going to be available to order from the 30th of April, and deliveries will start somewhere before the end of May. The choice is yours, but the middle model has the optimum cost benefits. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell.